welcome everyone to the program in the beginning. I am Father Lin. Today we celebrate the 26th Sunday in ordinary time, year B. Our gospel passage is from St. Mark chapter 9, from verse 38 to 48. It often holds true that when a person looks extremely sad, either some great evil has happened to him or her, or some great good has happened to another. When we are sad because some good has happened to another, we are jealous of them for the blessings they have. We are green with envy, for jealousy is the jaundice of the soul, as said by the British poet John Trident. In today's Gospel, the Apostle John was consumed with jealousy for having seen a stranger infringe on the privilege of Jesus' disciples. He said to Jesus, Teacher, we saw someone driving out demons in your name and we try to prevent him because he does not follow us. It was obviously upsetting to the disciples that someone else was using Jesus' name who wasn't a part of their group. The disciples felt that they had a privilege that no one else should have. In a similar way, Joshua Moses' disciple had acted enviously towards Eldar and Medar for their potential prophecy. That he called upon Moses to stop them. But Moses replied to Joshua, Are you jealous for my sake? Would that all the people of the Lord were the prophets? Would that the Lord might bestow his spirit to them all. And in today's gospel, Jesus replied to the jealous John, Do not prevent him. There is no one who performs a mighty deed in my name who can at the same time speak ill of me. What a blow for the disciples' egos. They wanted Jesus to affirm them as his only representatives. But instead, Jesus told them to let that man do what he would. The disciples had a narrow definition of who were true followers of Jesus. Taking advantage of this occasion, Jesus was trying to expand their definition of what it means to follow him. He wanted them to accept people who didn't express their faith in the same way the disciples did. There are times when we too have a hard time accepting other people. We think our way is the best. Therefore, everyone who is a Christian must act exactly like us. And when they don't act like us, we respond vehemently. It's not the right way to do it. We've never done it that way in this church before. I won't have any part of that kind of thing. That group is going to ruin this church. You guys don't know anything. You aren't even from around here. They don't have to be they don't have to be in my group. No. They don't have to share my background. No, they don't. They don't have to see everything the way I do. Does anyone? When a group distributes twice at Christmas, it doesn't necessarily mean they are Catholics. Because they are feeding the hungry, it doesn't mean they are members of the Vincent the Poor Society. Therefore, what is important is their fruit and their faith. 
how should we respond to work performed by other people? First, we should look at the food. Is it good? Is it healthy? Is, is he or she helping or hurting people? If the person is bearing fruit, be grateful. A good tree cannot produce bad fruit. So be thankful that God is at work in all the groups than ours. Second, look at the faith. In whose name is the work done? Jesus was accepting the work of the stranger reported by John because it was done in his name. Likewise, when we see someone doing good work in Jesus' name, don't be jealous of their good deeds and blessings they have, but praise God, for He grant His authority to many to do His work. Do frequent source searching. Do I rejoice when others are blessed? Or do I envy that do I envy them their success? If we envy them more than we rejoice in them, maybe we should mull over this saying. The man who keeps busy helping the man below him will not have time to envy the man above him, and there may not be anyone above him. Let us pray. From every division and harmful relationship, we beg you, free us, O Lord. From hatred, envy, vengeance, we beg you, free us, O Lord. From thoughts of jealousy, prejudice, rage, we beg you, free us, O Lord. Thank you for listening. Please subscribe to my video and visit my website at fatherlin.com. May God bless you.